Ah, Alright, and then people, welcome back yet again to the Principality of Xeon campaign of Garen's Greed 5. Yes. So, I have noticed multiple things in the two and a half minutes it took to get back into this recording. And that, the first one is, they don't have any troops in Canada 2 or here. So, I can send some uh, gun cannons, or Zaku cannons, to capture this one, and then... I can send a single unit to go, a uh, single unit to go capture this, because I do have that uh, daub. This thing. I think I'm. I think those are daubs. I don't actually remember. Oh, I can't actually move it in the right spot, so it'll go here and then it'll attack after, because it flies and it can do that. And I just got to tech level four, so I should be getting gauze next turn. Or in a few turns, um, I will produce a couple of more golfs here, golfs, however you want to pronounce it. A couple of them here, since this is mostly land combat. After this point, I think I'll move some units here, have them spear across the top of Russia, and then grab Peking. Excuse me. I will use the units that are here to attack both here and move over into Alaska. From Alaska, we'll attack to Russia and over, meet up with the units that are attacking the top, grab Peking. Um, we'll probably have Hawaii by then, and we'll start grabbing these points and surrounding Torrington. I believe after Torrington, we have to capture Luna 2. And then after that, Luna 2 should be easy, though, since we have like 60 units surrounding it. We have, what here, a Zog and a Golf. Okay. Those will join Odessa easily. And what do we have up in side three? Quite a few units, actually. Um, a big rand, a, one of those things, a Jukin class, and that guy. Yes, quite a few units that will be useful in Odessa. So, I believe we have done all the spying and everything that needs to be done. Spying's always important. We've invested. Oh! I think this is Hawaii! Yeah, if you choose to develop submarines after you capture California, you will be able to do that. Actually, I should turn that down. I don't have headphones in so I can't tell, but that probably got really loud. Um, so three turns after you capture California, we, you can choose to develop submarines. Then after you develop submarines, you can go and attack this place. You don't actually have to have any subs, you just have to have the ability to produce them. Um, if you don't capture, or if you don't do that decision and you want to save the 3,000, you have to capture everywhere, everywhere but Belfast and Jaburo before that to uh, capture Hawaii. And you'd already captured Torrington, so capturing Hawaii was really easy. Um, I guess if you wanted to just, like, constantly push forward here and just have units, like, here, uh, in this, this China and northern India. And, yeah. I always just choose to do the Hawaii event because it's easier. But yeah, since we've done the Hawaii stuff, that's saving, I don't need to do that. It has been a turn yet. We will hopefully destroy all the people in New York, um, this Canada battle. So, we are sending one unit to capture this base. We are sending some units over here to capture this one up here, and then I'll send a unit down to capture this one. Um, you will move to attack. You will move here. These guys will move down. Um, next turn we'll capture this base. In two turns we'll be able to capture one of these two. Hopefully the units up here will be able to survive long enough. Actually I think I'll have the units in here hound the gun tanks. And if we capture all the bases we won't have to destroy the gun tanks. We have the power to do it, but it doesn't look like uh, marine zakus can melee. I thought they could. But it doesn't look like it. And yeah, they're just ranged attacking us. Since we're in a base, I'm not worried about it. Unless they destroy a unit, we should be fine. 
And they destroyed one, oh well. Uh, the units will heal back to health by the time they get there, so should be fine. And one there, and yeah, next turn we should win. Yeah, we can't reach them anyway. And just in case, I'll send these guys back up to reinforce. Um, yeah. Just one more turn and we'll capture them all. I don't think there's anything they could do to stop us either. Watch, knowing my luck, that's like Kai and like Karen or somebody in those mobile suits and that's why they're so hard to kill. So, capture a base there, capture that one there, and then capture this last base. Alright. Yes, we won the battle. And next we will attack Greenland. And we have some Aquazakus finally, so... Okay. One unit is going down. This one will go over here and... Maybe we'll get lucky and destroy them all, but I'm just hoping to... Uh, Destroy, get them into trying to defend this while I capture this base down here and cut them off from supplies. They'll eventually run out of energy just by moving. Oh, and we have that guy. Um, can never remember his name. So we traded a Zaku for a sub. Sounds like a good trade. He has a funny nose. Yes, I've actually sunk low enough to insulting what people look like. Especially characters driven, uh, drawn in 1979. That Those Akus are going to take a lot of damage. Okay. But hopefully we'll be able to eliminate enough of them before it becomes an issue. Oh, actually, I'm reorganizing that unit with the two missing to the end, so it takes a little bit less damage. Yeah, I don't want to lose a unit. I'm willing to, but I don't want to. And I'll actually move these guys up here to attack this one. No, it'd be better if I attack the one in the base so I can destroy this one, guaranteed destroy this one. Then another one will move in, and they won't be able to do as much damage as they did before to me. And, yeah, there was only four subs, so it should be alright. We, we should probably be able to destroy all of them before the end of this battle. Or not, you know. We could totally get our butt kicked. Oh, and they could run away with their subs. And attack my singular unit. And I'm not attacking back just because if I do, I don't get the extra dodge chance. Hopefully we'll do enough damage to destroy it. No. Okay. So at the end of this turn, we should be able to... Um, yes. We should be able to do something. Uh, destroy the sub. So, we're going to surround them. We are all going to attack so that it does enough damage to destroy it and they won't be able to move into this base and then next turn we'll be able to capture this base. What turn is it? It's only turn three so it should be okay. Since we have units all around it, they'll be able to attack the units, but they won't be able to move in. So it should be okay. Um, and... Yeah, that's all dealt with. I'm not moving that unit down there, because if they do, they'll be able to capture that base. I could probably save him, but it doesn't matter.
But they lost. And since they're attacking out of range, they shouldn't be able to they shouldn't be able to kill us. They did quite a bit of damage, though. But this one's at full health, so I'm not worried. I'm relying a lot on capturing bases in this one, but it's mostly just because of how stupid subs are. Yeah. Subs are hard to kill and... Yeah, they don't really do much either. I've never actually used them. Well, effectively, I've used them occasionally. The second drop, drop er, The second drop operation succeeded. Yes. Ooh, Zegox, right after we didn't need them anymore. And Adzoms, and those Danube classes, and... I... don't remember what that last one was. I think it's like... the scouter version of the Zudo. Something like that. It's something ridiculous. Yeah, so I've already paid for all those. Um, investing... We haven't actually got a level in spying yet. That's weird. I should invest the 2,000 so it goes up the most, but I keep forgetting. Oh well. Um, there's those units in space that haven't caught there yet. I'm actually going to do something a little that might be a little bit dangerous. I'm going to move all these units to here. I'm going to have these ones move north. Do I have any flying units here? Or, I have Aquazakus, never mind. Um, they're the ones at the bottom. There's something weird about this place, is they consider this, like, land bridge the ability to attack Greenland, so this is one of the easiest places to capture Greenland. And then the rest of them, so... If I click auto, they'll, um... Or, if I do auto, it'll cancel that one's movement. And I'm lazy, so there's that. Um, I don't think they're defending Canada, so it should be fine. How many troops do they got here? We have 16. Um, that's all I'm producing. The turn after, we'll go and attack there. Uh, actually, we need Ak guys. Ak guys can attack on land too, so they are kind of you, or they are useful as compared to Zogs, which can't. But they don't upgrade. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't upgrade. Um, and since we did that, the third drop or the third drop operation. He said Africa, didn't he? Something like that. I saw a Rika, so I'm assuming it's Africa. Um, and yes, we have done things. So. Let's see, they have five there, five there, four there, one there. I will have most of these guys, except for these four, move down. Hopefully they don't attack right there. I gotta leave some guys in there, and some guys in the center as well. Um, I think I'll have the remaining troops from here go over and attack Africa here, then down, then help with Kilimanjaro. And I think the units I'm having moved down right now will go and attack Kilimanjaro. Then um, I'll have them move back up here. I'll have some Aquazakus capture Madagascar, and I'll have them move over to northern India, whatever they call it. Um, after that, after the, yeah, after I capture Kilimanjaro, and Hawaii will be going for Peking, then Torrington, then China. Or, then Madras. Yeah, so here, then here, then here. And when Char finally attacks uh, the white base, we'll be able to capture this. 
which means we'll need some flying zakus, but or aqua zakus, since this is mostly water, and large conquest of Ireland, you know, Connacht and Belfast. The, all their troops will be around here, so it should be fine. Um, we'll grab all that, yeah. Um, I don't know if we're gonna capture this, just because I don't know really what you do here. Besides attack your Jabiro. I never saw that all that useful, but if we do capture all of Africa, I'll probably capture it so I can just position units here instead of having them up here and uh, here and down here too. And then I think after we capture here, I'll actually I'll just go and attack this and weather Jabro's constant attacks on me. I don't know. I haven't exactly decided yet. And it's only 15 minutes, so I moved everyone, right? I'll assume I did. Could be really bad if I didn't. Oh, yeah, we actually attacked somebody in Canada or Alaska. A bomber and a tank. This is gonna be a fun battle. I need to heal them, but oh well. You will go south, they will go east. Yeah, uh, the Aquazakus I'll have go down and around. Can they go all the way? Oh, okay, they're gonna have to go down, move across land here, then go around and attack these guys. And they'll probably send the bomber to the center here. So I'm going to send some desert Zakus out from here and then go down. These Zaku cannons I should have upgraded into des uh, desert Zakus as well, but I didn't. I'll send one unit from here down to capture this and I'll have send the rest to around and in the center. And I don't think that tank can move, so... It should be okay. Yeah, that tank's stuck on that island. Um, we'll send one unit down to capture that base. These two to go over here. They will capture this one. These cannon zakus. God, that's hard to click. We'll go over. There's there. Yeah, they're sending that bomber to the middle, so it should be fine. Capture that base. Uh, move these guys. It'll probably take them two turns to get to this base, but I'm in no real rush. The attack plans on Asia aren't really needing to be rushed. And hopefully we'll have big zon- er, uh, uh gauze by then. And Big Zom. We're getting that at tech level 9, I think. Yeah, and when we have Big Zom, I'll use a bunch of them. Even though they suck on land. So yeah, go there. Sucks that we'll have to have those Aquazakus go over to land. That'll cut down on their movement a bit. Yeah, so two more turns and we should be able to attack them. Um, two more turns and we should be able to attack that bomber, too. Yeah, okay. And somebody's attacking us in the center. We captured uh, Greenland. Um, let's see, where did we get attacked? By a saberfish. It'll go try to capture a base, but I don't think it can. So it's just gonna, like, sit in it, or sit next to one. And we will surround it and kill it. They probably didn't expect me to move troops in there. I wouldn't have either, so it makes sense. Yeah, so they're just gonna sit next to that base for some reason. We can attack flying units with Aquaza, or Marine Zakus. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can. The only sucky part is we can't uh, scan them, even if we're in a base. It would be cool if bases augmented your attack power, or something, more than just healing you. It's not like they wouldn't have radar or anything installed in there. Yep, North Africa. Or Egypt. And... Is this the first time I'm using go uh, golfs? I think it is. Or at least in this campaign. <sighs> that Delaz fleet campaign. I really like it, but it's a lot of work. Where else are we getting attacked? Oh, they have gun cannons in a tank. Oh, uh, gun cannons in one of those radar planes. Yeah, I don't think it's one of the orbital bombers. They should all come towards the center, so we'll just head for the center as well. I have aqua Zaku's in there? Oh no, that's a Zaku cannon. Okay, it looked like there was an aqua Zaku for some reason. There wasn't. So yeah, we'll go in towards the center. We should be able to make quick work of that gun cannon, especially with goths. And there's a normal bomber. Yeah. yeah, so a normal bomber, a tank, a gun cannon, probably piloted by either you, uh, Rainer, or one of the MSO8 people. Probably... It could also be Shiro. I don't remember if they get him yet. Yeah, they like those characters, though. They have the best initial stats, so they tend to use them for most things. That's why you'll occasionally shoot down, like, a G-Bull or, like, a core fighter, and one of them will be in it. It's probably actually a good idea for them, since uh, bazookas have terrible accuracy in their flying units. So we actually had a low chance to hit them, but if we hit them like once... Yeah, if we hit them like once, we would have took them down. Because bombers don't have very much HP. And Goths, uh... Yeah, Goths can't, uh, melee. Or not melee, scan. I can talk on occasion. It's one thing Desert Zakus have over them. And there's a Zaku cannon in these, I think, so they should be able to make a ranged attack. Yeah. And they're gonna counterattack the stack of two Goths, so that they do, or they don't get as horribly murdered. Yeah, we didn't even get to melee them. That sucks. Ah. I actually forgot about her. That's, uh, Lilla. In the Delaws Fleet campaign, she spawned in a Galbaldi 2, so... Or a Galbaldi B. Surprised she didn't get one in this, since, you know... She's also fighting Zeon in this. And they just killed themselves. Wonder who's piloting those? No one. Okay. I was hoping we would have three for, for the, uh, three for three. And we're not gonna capture this base, so the enemy tries to go and occupy it, and stop us from capturing it. So, the gun cannon will, like, charge us. Oh, there, it just moved forward to attack, but we should be able to uh, withstand its attack for at least a turn. Wow, we actually lost two Goths. That's surprising. Okay. And next turn, we'll win. That's like, not even... anything surprising. 
We got something. Uh, Zaku R2s. And one of those tanks. And we got plans for something else. Medea. And we're about to get attacked somewhere. Well. That is incredibly useful. We need those. I would prefer gauze, but... We can use those. Though it takes, what, three turns to produce? Yeah, it's gonna take three turns, so we're not even gonna use them. We could've used those like five turns ago, because just flying units in general are useful at this point in the game. Um, Hawaii... Leave some units there, move this one down. They have no reason to be in there anymore. Yeah. Um. Four, three, four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move half the units to up here, and then half the units to here, so we'll kind of have a line. That was weird. Okay, so we'll kind of have a line, and then the next turn, um, I'll go and grab here, so we'll we won't have to defend here anymore. And yeah, then we'll capture here and here, and we'll move forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, hopefully we attack in sufficient numbers where they don't, um, they can't launch a good enough defense against us. I only moved 10 to the one at the top, so I'm moving a... Or, 9 to the one at the top, so I'm moving in a 10. Um, we'll just leave those guys there. We'll attack there. Um, South America, I'm not worried about. So, um, Aquazakus, we will use to attack Western Africa. Yeah, there's two units there, so why not? Or, you know what? We'll attack here. And then we'll move one, two here towards the center. And then next turn we'll have those two attack this, or we'll grab this one after this turn. So next turn we'll attack over with a single unit and then we'll have those two Aquazakus in here attack this. We'll capture this down here. And then we'll have units move around and go attack Kilimanjaro. It'll make sense in a few turns. But for now, that's the end of this episode. It's about 30 minutes, so...